So today I'm in my workshop and I thought I would do a quick comparison between the uh, HGX Lite that I just got, my uh, Fabrico kit from for Sherpa, and then the cheapest BMG I could find and that I converted into a sale fin. So considering the price difference between these, this is about six dollars excluding the motor and this is about forty dollars with the motor um, so i did a quick little print test on all all of these and these two went fine because they've been working in printers for um, a couple of months but this one i, I had some issues the um I kept getting skips and binds and it just would not complete a print. When it did complete a print, it was perfect. This is a uh, one of the first things that I printed and it's it's perfect, it, it looks great. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this at all. But then for some reason it started skipping. I have about 10, most, 10 uh, felt prints um, that I, did not understand why, so I took it all apart, and it turns out that my um, this um, idler, this tooth idler right here, uh, it was missing its bearing, so it was super loose. And I'll show you a, a quick little clip that I did. Um, it was actually missing a bearing, so it would bind out just randomly when printing. Uh, so it turns out that I was missing this little guy right here, um, which is a three millimeter by five millimeter um, needle bearing. And luckily I had a couple of these from other projects and, and just random parts in my bin. So I got all these parts printed. Um, they are all the exact same G-code, the exact same filament, and then they have, they're done one after the other in an enclosed Rook 2020 Mark I. Um, so it's, the cubes are about a 20 minute print, and the uh, cylinders are a 16 minute print, so these are really slow to try to emphasize any um, misalignment in the uh, extrusion. So let's just start with the HGX. The quality of this is um, technically it's good apart from the missing bearing and I did talk to a couple of guys that I know have this uh, and they had their bearing so this just might be a one-off. Um, uh, but the quality of the parts are good however this this machined uh, in silver or, or just on um, non-surface treated. You can get these in different colors. The ones that I've seen in color have text on them and they look a quite a lot better surface fin finish wise. They're smooth. Uh, with this, it, this is raw straight off a of CNC. Um, but other than that, the, the, there's no sharp edges. Um, it's all nicely chamfered quality piece. The motor, I'm not so sure about. It's a no-name motor. Um, it does perform okay, um, but it's a one-amp motor from what I could find. Um, and I had to run it about 0.8. Uh, it's, it's not overly hot. It's not uncomfortably hot, but it's, I should be able to go a little bit lower for safety. But um, overall, this is okay. Um, extruder for the price. Um, remember, this is forty dollars shipped from AliExpress. Um, considering the prints you can do with this, it, it's it's a really good deal if you want a CNC'd, fully working kit. So print quality, there's nothing bad with these parts at all. Um, there's some inconsistencies, mostly due to the printer, because they all all of these have the same inconsistencies. So I I had my girlfriend um, as a third party compare all of them, and she could not tell the difference between 
the cubes, there's no difference between them. So in general print quality, there is no difference. If you are the pickiest person ever, you might be able to see this one has a little bit of kind of a bumpy skin. Um, if you really look closely at it, um, this these ones, the other twos have it have that as well, but it's marginally better, I would say. So as far as print quality, these all of these three extruders are the same. The um, part where they are different is when we do a base mode print. As you can see, this is smooth. And probably the smoothest print that I've ever had compared to a sail fin, which has um, more of a texture and there's a significant difference between these two parts when you have a look at them, especially you can see it down here by my thumb. There's a big, big difference. So if you're doing vases all day long, maybe not get the cheapest BMG and build a sail fin. You might wanna look into getting either a Sherpa kit or an HGX. Uh, as of assembly, this is super easy. Um, this just slots onto your PTFE two screws, one wire for the motor, and you're ready to go. The, this Sherpa is the same. This one has a bit of a tricky situation with two screws that you need to have in the right order, but it's not a big deal. So overall, I'm really happy with this HGX. It's probably gonna to, going to be on my um, Rook 2020 Mark I. Uh, permanently just because it matches the printer. Uh, this is uh, going on my second 2020. Um, and then this one, I think I'll just reserve it for an upcoming project that I've been working on in the background. And also, just a note, I've been using this um, Fabrico motor uh, with a Rolohan from a Rolohan uh, 2020 kit. Um, sorry, Rook kit. And for these two, and then this one has a 10 tooth motor. This one's an 8 tooth, but it doesn't really make a difference. So, anyway, I'm going to do some uh, more filming, get some more clips of the um, HGX printing and some photos that I'll be posting now. And then um, I'll see you later with a full 2020 Mark I video coming up, hopefully in about a week.